Crazy book. Uh, we had a question come in on the live chat about detoxing from EMF, coming back to work with headaches. Uh, the, and this does pertain to the holidays too. I've been reading this uh, over the past weekend. It's a book called The Invisible Rainbow. It'll blow your mind. So if you want to read that book, it's all the scientific studies organized into one place about EMF exposure and how we've known since the 1800s when the telegram and the telegram wires first came out, people were having reactions to electromagnetic fields. And this certainly does affect you. So all the people that just got new uh, Apple AirPods and Apple Watches and all these uh, cell towers that they keep on their wrist and in their pocket, you know, I think it is smart to try to mitigate some of that. So going into the new year, there's some studies in that book too about EMF and blood sugar and how even people that were dialed in with their diet had elevations in fasting glucose simply by being exposed to radio frequencies. So uh, all you with your new tech toys that you got over the holidays, I would encourage you, I think seeing is believing. Not everyone is sensitive, meaning they're not going to feel it, but at a biological level, there probably is something going on. So you could get an RF meter. There's one out of Canada called safe and sound. That's what I use. Mm -hmm. And I've, and I've measured, I, I stood face to face with a cell phone tower and that was about 10,000 microwatts per square meter. An Apple watch that a friend of ours had was 2 million microwatts per square meter. So people freak out about cell towers, but they've got I can't even do the math. A hundred X the radiation of a cell tower on their wrist all day. So on the EMF subject, I would not use or recommend those devices. Yeah. What I do is I have a, a little tripod here and I take my phone and I put it on a tripod and I put it in front of me and I'll just use Siri to kind of call my patients like that. So I'll put it away from me, which is nice. That way it's not on my person. And then I use um, just a little holster like this and I tuck my phone in like this. And a couple things you can do. So you can actually, I don't, I don't do this personally, but you can slit the side here and you can put some aluminum foil in and that will create a protective barrier with the phone going into your skin. So that's a, an option if you're really sensitive. I put it on my back right hip. So there's a lot of tissue there. There's a lot of bone, a lot of meat, a lot of glute muscle. Um, and the cell phone, it really has exponential. It's, it has a, a logarithmic intensity. So the first inch is the most intense and then it logarithmically drops off. Now, if you put the, your phone in your front pocket and it's right over your ovaries or uh, genitals, that's a problem, right? Because that's going to negatively that you're now you're like inside a couple inches of that tissue, and it's more sensitive tissue, and you don't have a lot of meat, i.e., thick uh, muscle like the glute or a lot of bone in the way, right? That tissue's kind of much more dense, and so ideally, you know, if you're a female, keep it in your back pocket. Don't put it over your breast tissue like that. That's bad. Don't put it in your front pocket, be male or male. Keep it in your back pocket or get a holster like I do. Put it right in the back part of your hip. And if you're more sensitive, just make a little slit in and put some aluminum foil right up against it, and that'll give you a protective barrier. Yeah, a lot of times they sell like silver fabric too. Like I've got a I've got a shirt that's like a silver lined shirt. I've tested it. It literally, I mean, I had a cell phone right in front of me. It was like a million uh, microwatts per square meter throw in the meter, uh, just haywire. And then I put the shirt on, put the meter inside my shirt and it was nothing. It was in the green. So a lot of these are lined with silver, these fabrics that are really cool. So I have had some sensitive clients in, in the UK who we've got them some of that EMF protective clothing, and it has been helpful. And like you said, distance is your friend. So getting away from that is key. And then I do all my calls just on my computer. So I use Google voice or I'll use Skype. And so I'm just on a hardware connection. So I'm using, I'm making zero, uh, radioactive calls during the day, or like you and I, I know we do a lot of Zoom calls with our clients too. So Zoom, FaceTime, those are good options if you guys are having to do a lot of calls for work and mitigate your risk. Uh, you can do FaceTime on the computer, which is what I do, and it's a zero RF way of talking to people. And then we're hardwired. I'm hardwired. I know you go uh, like yep. wireless headset, but I go, I go hardwired on everything.